What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Jared. <clears throat> Today, we're going to have some more shenanigans with uh, Kendra G and Good God in the Morning. Apparently, these women are just out of daggone control. Let's turn our attention to the screen here. And the video we're going to be reviewing is a, ma a mama four. Looking for a stable, secure man. And she doesn't want to pay bills. Here we go. Jesus help us. Hello? And you're gonna... <laughs> Hi. What's green at? What you doing, girl? Washing dishes. Can you give me better light? Let me see if it's me. It's like the way the light... It could just be me. You could be fine. I'm like, can you see me? I can see you. It could be because I have a big ring light. So sometimes, let me see. Okay, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. This is good. This is good. All right. Hello? Oh, let me just add the YouTube oh, link. Angel, why did I just get on right now? Are you ready? I told my daughter. Well, your yeah. Wi-Fi is messing up a little bit, boo. Oh. Let me see. By the window. Let me just, um, I'm going to pin... All right, here we go. All right, you ready? I think so, yeah. Okay, your Wi-Fi is not the best. Hopefully it gets better. Um, what's your name, sweetheart? Marie. Marie from where? Uh, where am I? Olive Hurst, California. Say again? Northern California. Northern California. Yes. Do you have any kids? I have four. Four kids. How old are you, Marie? I'm sorry. Uh, 43. 43, you look good. Oh, thank you. How old are your kids? Uh, my oldest is 24. I have twins that are 23, and my daughter is 15. Okay, all by the same man? Uh, the boys are by a different man. How many men? Uh, two. Two baby two. dads. Two. Have you ever been married? No. No. What you do for a living, Marie? Um, I, I own an online boutique, and I just hustle on the side if I'm not like, making enough. I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> All right. So Marie, 43, Northern California, four kids, mom to four, um, a 24-year-old, two sets of twins, a set of twins that are 23, a 15-year-old, yes. and she owns an online boutique. What's your zodiac sign? Libra. Libra. Yes. Let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for, mama? Mm, I am looking for someone who's consistent, someone who's caring, generally has, a, I guess, a happy vibe. Um, stable, um, is a provider. Um, that's about it. Okay. As a provider. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, men who are angry, men who are abusive in any way. Um, Christians kind of, I think that's it. Okay. We mean provider. What do you want to provide for us? Do you want guys paying all the bills? What's your what's your um, idea in that way? So if we're living together, yes, he'd have to pay all the bills. If you're living together, did you ever live with your children's dads? Yes. Okay, and they paid all the bills. Okay, so would you pay? All bills include like mortgage, rent, light, everything. That's their thing. Yeah. What would do? Do you want to financially contribute or no? No. 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 <laughs> Uh, would you be buying food or no? Not even that either. I yeah, I did that definitely. Yes. Okay, okay. You're the provider. If you move in with, if y'all live together, it gets there. You're paying all the bills. Okay. Could he have kids? Yes, definitely. Older I'm kids. Assuming, huh? Older children, preferably. Older children. You don't want any more kids, or do you? I have a okay. grandson. So. <laughs> uh, what are your deal breakers besides not being a provider child? Uh, my deal breaker. Men who are abusive in any way, including emotionally, mental, uh, men who pretend to be one way and you they turn out to be another way later, um, men with no ambition. I have a lot of deal breakers, um, but they're not, they're not really hard. Um, I the last part, you said what, men, what? I have a lot of deal breakers, but they're not, they're not big ones. They're just basic ones. Well, let's it's hard to remember. I'm so nervous right now. Um, but yeah, definitely the 
think that's a that's a no. Um, men who don't like children or animals, things like that. They just have to have a really good vibe. Got you. Okay. So you want him to be in Northern California? Um, my daughter will be graduating soon. She's graduating so after she graduates high school. Um, no, I don't. He doesn't have to be in Northern California. Okay. Um, okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? No, he doesn't have to make a certain amount of money. I've <coughs> never asked my exes how much they made, so no. Excuse me. Let me just interject here. Now, this woman is a mother of four. She's never been married. And she's now wanting to find a provider man with four kids. You notice how they never say what they're going to give the man. They're always expecting something from the man, but not, not saying what they're going to give the man. I have a big problem with that because a lot of these women right here are the main reason why a lot of brothers just don't want to deal with black women specifically and i'm not even one that that says that he hates black women i just hate the fact that a lot of black women in this country is so delusional in the fact that what they want they can't even give you what 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 they want they can't give you a man that's making they can't give you a hundred thousand dollars. They can't even give. They can't even give you a daggone relationship without any, bringing any kids into it. They can't even bring femininity to the conversation. But then they're talking about what they expect out of you. I have a serious problem with that, and a lot of these women want to sit on these platforms and act like they bring in everything to the table, but they never can clarify what they're bringing to the table. And to my belief. They're bringing nothing but problems to the relationship. They're bringing nothing but problems to the to the market. This woman got four kids talking about she's never been married. Now she's looking for a man that's a provider. Man, woman, lady, if you don't get the French toast out of here with that mess, brothers ain't gonna marry you. Sorry. Brothers ain't gonna marry you. White men ain't gonna marry you. Latinos ain't gonna marry you. Asian men ain't gonna marry you. Arab men definitely ain't gonna marry you. You failed their standards. And you talking about you don't, you don't want a man making a certain amount of money. You now you know daggone well, in California you got to make a hundred plus thousand dollars a year in order to even survive in California. You need to be making upwards of one hundred fifty thousand dollars. In California, to even be able to live comfortably. Every day, Californians are leaving California because they can't afford the cost of living and the crime has gotten out of control. It's funny how y'all ask for something, but y'all can't bring what you ask into the table. It's real funny. One second, I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude. <coughs> I apologize. I wanna, I'm going to edit that part out. So, um, does a man got to make a certain amount of money? No, it just has to be something reasonable. Something to live off of. Something he can pay all the bills with. Something he can... So, enough to pay all the bills. You live in Northern California. Yes, and it is pretty high. So, I can't give you a number, honestly. Could a man pay all the bills off 100 k in Northern California? Yes. Okay. Does he have to look at the, could he do it off of 70K? I'm not sure. <coughs> look, I'm about to show for you. <laughs> you probably, your, your energy probably made me choke by even asking that damn question. The energy's like, bitch, hell no. <coughs> what the hell are you gonna ask me about those 70K, bitch? <coughs> gotcha. I'm about to choke to death. For even disrespecting you by asking that question. <laughs> so 70K wouldn't be enough. I I don't think so, honestly. Okay. Not in this. Okay. So maybe a hundred K. Maybe. Okay. All right. Does he have to look a certain way? I don't have a racial preference. Um okay. I, for men that are not too skinny though. He has to be a little on the thicker side, I guess. Okay. 
Um, I mean, listen, you always have more options when you're open up to all races. It's right. what it is. You know, you're going to have more options. Okay, fair enough. Let's do the Kendra Cam. One second. I know everyone says this, but I mean, I did expect you to pick me today. But uh, I don't know. I just wasn't ready. I just got home from the gym. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Right. You look like you're in great shape. 43, you look amazing. Thank you. Okay. Um, am I saying it right, Marie? Yes. Marie, 43, Libra. When was your last relationship? Um, it was about a year ago. Oh, bring yourself back up. You're so low now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, you said a year ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, I declined that one. Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on? So I'm an overthinker. Okay. Um, I'm an overworker. Um, when it comes to my boutique, I'm constantly working. I'm working all day. Um, so I do try to balance that out with my, well, my daughter, she's my youngest. She's the last one here and my grandson. But it's hard. It's hard sometimes. Um, You're a grandmother? Yeah, I have a three-year-old grandson. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. you work a lot. And I have a hard time deciding where I want my body to be when it comes to the gym. So at first I wanted to go for like the bodybuilder physique, but now I'm like, mm, maybe not. It's not for me because I can't eat that much. So I'm always up and down now just because of that. So just the ind indecisive part, I guess. Okay. Indecisive. All right. Um, is that three? Yes. Okay. Why would a man be lucky to be with you? So I have really good energy. I don't cheat. Um, most of my kids are grown, so I do have a lot of freedom. Um, yeah, I'm just a really great person. Okay. And every, yeah, a lot of people, I, they connect with, I'm an introvert, but for some reason, people are always comfortable coming up to me and talking. Okay, that's enough that BS. So notice how she said that she wasn't bringing anything to the table. She said, why was she a good person? And she started talking about her. See, this is the problem. Y'all are expecting something for nothing. She didn't bring. She didn't say what she was gonna bring. Be bringing the man. She didn't say why she was a good choice. She didn't say why she would, why a man would benefit. And the more and more I'm starting to do these videos, the more and more I'm starting to come across a lot of ladies that expect a man to have everything when they're complete and utter trash. And that's sad. You are complete garbage. Sorry, but I'm keeping it a buck. You are complete garbage. And you're saying that you want all of this stuff. And then come to find out you're not offering anything but a major problem. Anyways, y'all gonna learn. Y'all go y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all, 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 y'all need Jesus. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, Spotify.com. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Guys, get your passports. Later, guys.